I'm Ted Price, I'm the founder and CEO of Insomniac Games, and today we're showing off Fuse. So Fuse is a brand new four-player cooperative game from Insomniac. It's a new IP, it involves an alien substance called Fuse that you are pursuing throughout the game. But during the game, you are taking part as one of four completely different characters. These are agents who are employed to find, to track down this Fuse and recover it. And one of the unique things about this game is that each of these characters has completely different abilities. They're very different personality-wise. And at any time, you can leap back and forth between these characters, unlike most RPGs, shooters, where once you make your choice about who you're playing, you're locked in. This is a function we call Leap, and it has a lot of really cool strategic opportunities for players to check out. We also have our trademark Insomniac crazy weapons in the game. And throughout the game, you get to experiment with all sorts of interesting fuse-powered tech we call Xenotech. These weapons are also upgradable, and throughout the game you get to play with a fairly deep progression system where you're unlocking skills, abilities, and buffs for these fuse-powered weapons, for standard weapons you pick up, and for your characters. Could you tell us a little bit about the, um, the different characters within the game? Do they have any special attributes or anything like that? Is there a sniper class? Is there a melee class or anything like that? That's a good question. We, the four characters are well differentiated in terms of their personalities, their backgrounds, and of course the gameplay that they employ. So Dalton Brooks is our tank of the group. He is the archetypal tank. Personality-wise, it fits. He solves most of his problems through brute force. But he's equipped with a mag shield. This is a portable shield that he can carry around, and it is a result of combining fuse, this alien substance, and ferrofluid. The shield will catch bullets, any incoming projectiles, and then convert them into kinetic energy, which can be released in a big blast, which liquefies any nearby enemies. So really useful in situations where you're getting up, and close, up close and personal with bad guys. This, it also has an ability you can unlock where you can drop copies of the shield and then step back and start firing through it. Now, at any time, your friends in the game can be firing through your shield as well. It's a great way to combine forces. Another character we have is Naya Devereaux. She is our stealth specialist, but she also has a uh, area of effect specialty. And this is all conferred by the warp rifle, which is a weapon she tends to use. It is the result of combining antimatter and this fused alien substance. What Naya can do with the warp rifle is coat enemies with this mixture and then trigger a black hole. And when that happens, a big ring goes out and knocks down any nearby enemies, but better, if she has coated multiple enemies with this mixture, she can set off a chain of black holes, so thus it becomes a great area of effect weapon. But using the warp rifle, Naya can also disincorporate, go stealthy, and becomes a great flanker. So good example of a multifaceted character uh, empowered by this fuse-powered weapon. Third character, Izzy Sinclair. Izzy is equipped with the Shatter Gun, which is the result of combining Melanite, which is an exotic crystal found here on Earth, and Fuse. And what the Shatter Gun does is it crystallizes enemies. So if I'm firing at an enemy who is behind cover, for example, it will actually convert that enemy to this crystal statue and lifts them up behind cover so they become a great target for the rest of your team. But if any nearby enemies are within range, they will also be crystallized. So you get these big branching structures of enemies appearing on the battlefield. And it's a great crowd control weapon as a result. Now, another un ability that you can unlock using the Shatter Gun is healing crystals. What Izzy can do is fire healing crystals across the entire battlefield and either heal or revive her downed teammates. One of the things I like to do with Izzy is actually drop a healing crystal at my feet, and therefore, as I'm getting damaged, I'm also healing myself. So, multi another multifaceted character. And then finally, we have Jacob Kimball. Jacob has the arc shot, and the arc shot takes fuse and combines it with liquid mercury. And the arc shot is essentially a crossbow which fires superheated bolts of this liquid mercury into enemies. It does burn damage, it will pin enemies up against walls, but it also has a trap function. As I fire bolts into the environment or into enemies, I can trigger the secondary function, which sends out additional streams of molten mercury and will liquefy nearby enemies. So it's really fun if you know enemies are in an area that you just simply can't reach, fire a few bolts around them, trigger the trap, and they melt. The, the weapons themselves are built to be used together. So for example, uh, if, if Naya coats enemies with this warp 
any matter mixture, any of her teammates can set off a black hole by killing that enemy. Uh, better, you can do things such as, I could be Jacob, firing my arc shot through Dalton's mag shield, which means that I'm protected while I'm killing enemies. But I could use my arc shot to trigger a chain of black holes, which then shatter a bunch of crystallized enemies that Izzy has set up with her shatter gun. That's just a complex example of some of the things you can do in the game. When you work together to take out enemies, you actually earn a lot more points, which are useful in the progression system. And you use those points, or experience points, to unlock new buffs and abilities for your character. So we encourage players to work together, not only be uh, through the basic design of the weapons, but because you get bigger rewards when you do so. So is this a multiplayer game? Is it up to four players? It is a multiplayer game if you want. You can play by yourself with three bots, or you can play with one friend, two friends, or three friends. If you want to play local split screen, you can do that, basically couch co-op. You can play with two bots, or you can play local split screen with two online friends. So a lot of ways to play the game. And if you are playing with friends who are, say, online, if any of them drop out, then we immediately and seamlessly replace them with an AI bot. So drop in, drop out, drop in, drop out co-op. <laughs>